Hello, hello guys, welcome back with another exciting video. Today, we're going to be looking into, as you see at the thumbnail, the absolute hammer. And I'm linking it to <clears throat> with Blade of Death. And I'm telling you, I like it. So, let's jump right into it real quick. So, I got dual wheel scepter. Uh, I have helmet with armor pen. And then I have a uh, shoulder here with resource, uh, my full dodge gear, then leap, capri, heart, Janita's belt for convert mana, because you're going to have a lot of attack speed with the energy build, right? So there's that, cast a refraction, pretty straightforward. Um, so I took Capri because of my Lacrima, but I don't have to. You don't have to go Capri. You, what you need is you're gonna breed Borrow, Hamal, Leo, and Kester. Okay, those are your four that you want. Okay, borrow four. If you wanna do two thirty, two thirty, two thirty, one forty, then you can do Leo two thirty. Um, Lil 230 and then Hamal 230 and then Boro 140. Okay, so you can do those as well. So 230, 230, 140. Okay, those are the charms. This is Amar charms, right? And then now we go into mastery, uh, mastery here, 9, 10, 10, one point here, then all potions here. Okay. And then now we're going to the relics. Uh, relics. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use caster. And we're gonna main this one for more damage. Okay. Then we're gonna summon caster so he can buff us. Um, we're gonna go Leo. And then scepter. I like to have lots of movement speed. Um, and then I can do hit rate. If I'm if I'm missing a lot, I can do hit rate, right? Um, and then if I have low resist on chaos, then I put chaos. So it's very situational. Um, this this is pretty good uh, for movement speed. Uh, again, if I don't want movement speed, then I can get something else like the projectile damage here or HP increase for potions recovery, etc. Okay. Um, again, it's very situational. Uh, the higher you go, you're gonna keep missing a lot, so you want more hit rate. So, Vesper Scepter is a good investment to put in. And then, lastly, Boreal. Okay. And then, now we're going to the Zodiac. One. This is gonna be physical build only. So, we're missing some damage here. So, this is. I didn't fix it from the previous video, so that's that. So, that's what you want here. Two. Then three, three. I need to change this up. Uh, the three can go projectile here. Uh, we want both. We want physical because then every other skill gets damage boost as well, uh, like illusion axe, um, everything. So, <clears throat> and then there's that. Two, three, now four. Four. We went for this one. Instead of this, we can easily get to the physical part. Okay, so there's that. So you want five, five. Okay, and then uh, on Zodiac five, I took the attack and then more attack speed here, and then uh, <clears throat> the crit rate here. Um, now I can reduce the attack speed, which I don't need any more. Um, then I can go into um, <clears throat> um, getting um, this right here. Would be would be more. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me let me let me reset for you guys. Okay. So we're gonna go one by one. <clears throat> one. I forgot to read. Um, change the X from the previous video. So here's one. 
is two. Right, his three. Okay, his four. I have convert mana belt. Remember, I don't need the convert mana, so I just like all damage, right? Very good. And then now I just need crit rate because um the energy uh, link room give you attack speed amp already, so I won't need any more attack speed, and I don't want any more attack speed. Okay, so we're gonna get that for mana on hit. For sustainability and then we want the pierce count there and then we want the six percent strike amp there okay and then specialize two we're gonna take all of this for crit damage right there and then now we're gonna go into here we're gonna take this right there very important dex has to be fire strength has to be 500 plus uh, and then we go here for this right here for projectile damage right and then we go into lightning and then we want to get the lightning on hit right there and then we go into specialize three then we take this we don't need more attack speed okay this is gonna give you more projectile for your um, um, blade of death which is very good and then right there for capable for more crit rate crit damage okay and then now we go into the uh, energy section right there that's gonna increase our damage and then we have 18 points left so now we go here for the physical damage amp there five percent right and then we got uh, another five percent here right there okay <clears throat> so that's on uh, eight and we go back to seven and we have eight more so we got one two three four five here for more crit rate right uh, so now we got three more <clears throat> three more the best option would be uh if you need if more crit rate here you can um but i'd rather take uh some some of the penetration here and the, the flat damage so you want to trade the crit rate of flat damage so you gotta test those out right so there's that um, either one is good or if you have 500 int then you will take this right here um, <coughs> uh, other than that uh, you, I kind of want more crit rate so um, I'm gonna take the crit rate over on this side. Oh, not two hand. Sorry, dual wielding. My apologies. There we go. Dual wielding. Um, then we're gonna take three points. Oh, uh, three points for dual wielding for crit rate. Okay. All right. So there's that. Uh, now into the skill breakdown all right skill breakdown is absolute hammer so what i did was um it is a melee straight uh, physical and projectile blessings um so i linked it with uh, attack spell hit right here the red one and i changed the directions of the arrow so now the skill itself uh has a um, pierce counts right so the again um you don't need more projectile you want pierce counts um, so then it has a projectile curve which means it spins in a circle and the more projectiles comes out the more damage it's gonna hit um, the awaken you're gonna want is a text I would take I would take source for the stack uh, increase uh, would be much better right um, you can try projectile size um, I don't know it's difficult gonna be a I might test it later um, 
to see if the sides get bigger for better clear. Uh, but that's that. You can do uh, projectile speed reduction, so you have more slower. Like there's two ways to build it. Like you slower um, hammer spins, kind of like the, the uh, POA two, where you slow down the hammer and you can actually uh, increase more damage. But that's not my style. It's just too slow for map clearing. So I want to keep the projectile speed, whatever it is, right? Uh, if anything, try to increase it more. Uh, so what I did was I put focus for more defensive, uh, and then and plus it has twenty eight uh, twenty eight uh, melee dam dam damage amplification right here twenty eight percent, and then this has uh, twenty also twenty eight percent when you awaken with more damage right. Uh, so I got fighting spirit, uh, fighting spirit. You don't have to use fighting spirit. I like to be tanky, so fighting spirit is really good. And then pierce pierce rune. Uh, so that's four four plus piss to this, and of course man on stone. I awaken a verity for um the strike damage increase, right? And then of course extract energy rune, uh, extract up the energy. Now this gives you physical damage. Um, and with the capri heart necklace, the, uh, the stacks become ten max. So this gives you physical damage and then attack speed amp. So you don't need any more attack speed. Your stun rate and bleed rate gets stronger too. So both both skills gonna work. So you wanna link both to both of the skill. So then Blade of Death, I went uh, Source of Reckon, and I got the maximum plus four projectile count with Project Pearl Damage Amp, right? So there's that, now it has 15 counts of projectile. Uh, now what this skill does is you hit once, then it's come back. Uh, and it keep doing that every single time. So uh, you're gonna do uh, a, lot of a lot of damage um, as, you, uh, as you go, okay? And then I put uh, Amplified Physical Projectile Strike, uh, Manus Storm and then multi shot. Multi shot will give you way more than 15 uh, when it triggers the uh, powerful multi shot for three seconds. Uh, you're gonna have more than that. So, <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, and then uh, everything else is pretty standard. Uh, you want dashes, teleport, penetration slash. Um, you can use scepter and shield if you want more tanky. Then you can use shield charge, um, but I like dual wielding um, for maximized damage, right? So then, um, shield content source, shield content destruction source, awaken so that I can become a buff with the ration count, um, and then uh, the marksman of course right there, and then I have illusion axe with uh, center of gravity and lower armor and air effect, and then dampening resource, and then have counter as well for that right there. Same thing. Uh, this one's the uh, awakened verity, and this one awakened uh, uh, origin. Okay, and then seal of crit for more crit rate, and then totem for uh, debuffing bosses, and then this is for more chaos resist. Okay, so make sure we have everything on. And I'm gonna do a map run so you can see how the skills look at level 154. I can try 160. Uh, so actually, you know what? We're gonna try 160. Since the skill looks really good, um, we're gonna try one, 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 155. So that's 155. 155, We're five level away from max level monster, and this is not hard mode. So let's see how well it performs. Wow, that's incredible. It's much better than I thought. Okay. Yeah, all those ores is really messing me up right now. So without the ores, it's okay. Um, I'm very tanky, so... I mean, unless something nukes me, like a champion, then I'll die. Yeah, so that's a champion right there. <laughs> that's why I'm like, why am I getting so much debuff on me? Yeah, so the champions hurt. <laughs> but this, the skills performs really well, um, considering that I'm facing a champion, level 160. And it's Quilio too. And it has status effect dodge, uh, HP hit, gamble. Gamble is like, uh, you, 
yeah it makes you miss a lot that's why i don't like the gamble on monster but everything else looks good like normal monsters looks fine as long as you don't hit the champion level 160 um, and I'm doing okay without getting hit from the champions but if he comes it's gonna hurt <laughs> yeah that champion is really messing me up so he has an aura uh, where it reduced my like hit rate and everything so uh, 160 may be a little too difficult now we can try 155 should be easier I don't have the damage right now for it because my gear is still uh my my gears i have not invested anything in my gears i don't even have jewels on my gears guys so i'm just showcasing the raw potential of the skill without like all the extra extra stuff okay see, like you see like my gear has no jewels like i have no jewels okay so i'm still missing a ton of damage and my charms is not the correct charms and i'm still missing a ton of damage so i'm just showing you the the raw potential of like the skill uh, level at max and the rune level at max the rune link level at max and the skill mechanics right so my gear is totally just like not even full potential same as charms so what you see this is all from the skill the skill effect and mechanics the skill um, raw damage uh, multiplier this is this is all our skills and rune link level uh, so so if you can have rune link and you awaken correctly you guys can do you can push 155 with 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 just that um so if you were to invest uh, in, in more jewels and etc you can definitely do hard mode with this build the blade of death has recently been buffed so that's why i wanted to try this combo If you guys have any questions please leave it in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i can i appreciate everybody for the love and uh, subscribe really uh, means a lot and please join my live stream uh, hit the no hit the bell notifications to, to join my live stream so you can see how i progress and um, show you guys how to um, play different builds <coughs> like what you see please leave a comment share subscribe hit the bell for notifications really appreciate it guys looks really really smooth um things are dying okay it's not like a nuke like first strike but this is very new and decent uh, this combo is just something i just um, thought of and put it out there um, because um blade that is really strong for bleed damage there so. 
things are getting stun lock with the new so, you know, so you have both coal and stun at the same time see how well it performs on bosses oh yeah 155 boss okay think please hit the like share subscribe hit the bell for notifications I greatly appreciate everybody all right i'll catch you guys in the next video please remember to join the live stream and we'll go from there thanks